Hey guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about cum. So I have three scriptures talking about this very subject. The first one I'd like to share with you guys is John 1 verse 39. Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went with him and saw where he was staying. It was about four in the afternoon. Now, Jesus wants you to come into his presence. And let me tell you, there's no feeling like his presence, guys. Especially, you know, if you're a sinner, he wants to rescue you. He wants you to know that you're a sinner, and he wants you to come to him and ask him for forgiveness because he can redeem you. Don't be afraid to come to Jesus. Jesus only wants you to be with him. That's what he wants. He doesn't want you to feel afraid. The enemy will try to get you to feel afraid around him because he doesn't want you to be with him. The enemy wants you. It's time for you to shut him down. That's what we need to do. Whenever Jesus tells us to come and the enemy tells us not to come, we need to shut him up and come to Jesus. Think about that. Jesus wants you to come into his presence. He's inviting you to be a part of his family. All right, second scripture, John 1, verse 42. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which translated as Peter. Jesus knows who you are and who you will be called. He's got an assignment for you, and he's going to send you places. God will send you wherever he wants you to go. He'll bring the right people into your life, and he will... He will send you out to share his gospel. That's what we need to be doing in these last days. God has called us to be Christians, to be messengers of him. He has called us to be He has called us to make disciples, to be fishers of men. That's what we need to be. And that's what he's called us to be. He's called us to ministry, guys. And like I've said in the past, if we just if we trust in God to give us the words to speak, they will be we will be effective. And the more effective we are, the more attacks that we'll get from the adversary. The adversary wants to keep you away from your call. He wants you to stay where you are and never get anywhere. God has got a new name for us. He's wiped us clean. He's baptized us, and he wants us to do the same thing. He has brought us through many things. He's saying, you've got a new life, and I've got a job for you. That job is to make disciples. Think about that. God has called you to make disciples, to make followers of Jesus, to be a fisher of men instead of fish. Think about that. Third and final scripture, John 1 verse 50. You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You shall see greater things than that. When you come to Jesus and when you start sharing God with people and it's lives will be changed by the mere sight of Jesus in you. You shall see people realize that they're sinners, and you shall see them wanting to make amends for all their past sins. You'll see souls saved. You'll see people want to know more about Jesus. They want a deep and passionate relationship with Jesus. You know... Jesus wants the very best for you, and he has a big plan for you. You know, it may not seem big right now, and, you know, you may be sitting in the corner waiting for your opportunity. God will send the opportunity to, for you to reach out to people. He will send you the opportunity to snatch somebody out of the gates of hell. You know, if you just come to Jesus and ask him for wisdom... He'll give it to you. He's not a God that, you know, you give me this, I'll give you that. 
No, he's not that God. He's a he's a generous God, and he's a loving God, and he will give you the wisdom. Just trust in him. And when you come to him, especially when you've done something wrong, he will forgive you. You come to him when you're sad and you're heartbroken. Just come to him and he will he's your greatest encourager and he will get you back up on your on your feet. And he'll send you places. He says you're a winner, not a loser. God does not make garbage. He made you for a reason. Just trust in him, guys. He's trustworthy. He is loving. And he's always available, especially in your hard time. remember that just come to him all right so guys i hope you got some now this i'm gonna close in prayer i thank you lord for giving me the courage to, to share this message lord and please lord give them the courage please lord lead them in the right direction and please let them come to you lord whenever they're heartbroken whenever they've sinned lord please just let them come to you and you you know what they're going through. Whatever their situation is, Lord, I pray that you heal their heart and that you make that you forgive them, Lord, if they've done wrong. And please, Lord, let them be a light in this darkness, Lord. Because time is coming where you're to return, Lord. Revival needs to take place in their hearts right now. Let a fire begin to burn and let it just spread worldwide outside of the United States, Lord. And please, Lord, let it be viral. I pray this in your name. All right, so guys, remember, I'm just plain and simple, but he is not. He is beautiful, and he's lovely, and he is glorious. Come to him, and he will renew you. And when times get tough, praise God in the storm. And be excited for his return. He will get you through your storms. Just come to him whenever you have him. See you guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. God bless.